So, ayun, um, are you still part of Girl Um, No, I'm not currently part of Girl Girls now. Bakit? Um, kasi, um, I felt that I cannot ano na po, deliver what showtime, parang yung quality as much as I want to be. Kasi hindi po ako masyadong magaling sa my own. And everybody there is such a great performer and everybody there has a specialty of either singing or dancing. And para sa akin po, parang hindi ko siya forte. And I want to give the best that I can for showtime. So with the series that I have and the businesses that I'm handling then, um, medyo hindi ko siya, yun, hindi na nga po ako marunong. So parang mas naghirapan pa ako. So ayo parang hindi siya sa capabilities kung hindi siya para doon sa showtime. Kaya po ay resign kasi sabi ko po na um, I love showtime. I started at showtime. Without showtime, I would have been anybody. Um, I've learned so much. Pero yun nga po, hindi ako, I'm not the best fit for you. Pero they, they were great. They didn't want to let me go. Um, they said, just kaya mo yan. They were very encouraging. But ayun nga. I personally thought that I could not do it. But you didn't have to do it or like that? Um, whatever that may happen, all of our families have fights. So, parang kami, we, were, we were together every day. So obviously, the flaws that we can see, even if we have boyfriends that are not able to do it. I just try to stay away. Quiet na lang ako. I go there to work, do my job, what I have to do, and then go home. So how long have you been with the group? Oh, ever since it started, I auditioned in pop. So, three years din ako nandun. Yeah. Umalis lang, or umalis lang po ako, or nag-resign po ako noong the day, the day before nila shoot yung music video na GT Breakthrough. Actually, you were not part of the launch. No, not, not anymore because I felt like I should have resigned before the launch had happened. So, what did you learn out of the three years? So, so dami po yung humility, how important everybody, um, how important the Madlang people are. Na without the Madlang people, talaga wala, wala po yung artist. So it really valued me and how na malaki and kahit nakakram yung mga, mga time na parang, ayun po, na go with it. Kasi that's how show is. You, you can never tell what can happen. So yun yung malaking bagay. And, being among stars such as Anne Curtis, Vice Vanda, Bong Navarro, um, Ate Ma, Ate Amy, Teddy and Jukes, everybody there, they're all prime actors. Parang, it's great to be with them every day, to learn to them with them. So, I'm So, in contact with Vice Vanda and Ate uh, uh, I think they're very busy, po kasi, pero I, I'm sure if I was to reach out to them, they would be very nice and would contact me. How did you start the show? Yung ba talaga yung video? Yung ba talaga Sorry? Kasi we know na you're an athlete, diba? Pero how did the show uh, cross over the show? Uh, well, one time po, my mom messaged me. I think they were abroad at that time. But mag-edition daw po ako sa PVD. So we lined up sa Araneta, nag-edition ko PVD. Unfortunately, um, hindi po ako nakuha. Ano ba siya? Ano ba siya? 737? Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure 737. Or a bit late. 2014. Yeah, Asia 737. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, kasama na Jessica, I think. So, um, I went there sa PVD. I lined up everything. Blonde pa yung hair ko nun. And then, hindi ako nakuha, and I was about to leave the Araneta, the place. Si Sir Ogi, Sir Ogi, um, Ojit, po, ng Star Magic, say, oh, punta ka dito, try mo mag, mag go see for Star, Star Magic, try mo lang. And said, oh, sige po, so I did the whole, like, your very right side, side, yan, my, kat, my katan po, oh my, my katan po, ako pa yung name ko nun, but now, this is like, Rivera. Um, so, yun, doon siya nagsimula, and then, nagka-call kami na always be my baby. Mayroon ako yung part doon sa so nakakahiya si Kuya J pa yung first ko. But um, amazing experience din kasi it was Kuya J na ngayon na si RC. First movie and then all of a sudden sabi nila punta ka doon sa ang pinatawag namin Aquarium ni Mr. M. And that was like 
everybody's there, ang daming tao doon. And then, napick ako and my sister, Melissa and Helen's, we were, we were there. Ayun, doon siya nag-start. So, you had that role prior to getting yes. your start? Yes. This is just because of being, um, doing workshops and parang casting lang, I guess. Casting lang nila. So, okay. And then, po nagsimula. And it, it's, it's great kasi ngayon, handler ko si Mama Nila. And then, same kami handler ni Kuya Jen. And then, my first teleserye is at the RC then. So, parang talagang ang galing. You got it. <laughs> Thank you. What do you find the feeling now? What should it be? Um, for me, po, it's the voice. It's the it's the, the opportunity and the power to be able to um, spread positivity. Because obviously, being in the limelight is double-edged sword. You can spread negativity or positivity. So I think that's what I find appealing is that you can promote positivity, promote love, promote you know things that like. Bullying nowadays, you can promote self love. So I think that's one thing that I really like and I'm passionate about is that you have the power to promote. <laughs> <laughs> did, you the, did you feel the pressure um, when you were starting? Because, of course, there are many people who are doing it, and there are many people who are doing it. Everybody, kasi ako po hindi po ako na prefer sa ganun na para competition. Hindi po kasi for me if artista ka may regardless of other other station po yan or sa ABS mismo, um isang work lang po kami. So I for me, I like so, like happy ako for that person. I should just focus on myself. Kasi the more I look at other people, the more I'm going to feel negative thoughts and the more I'm not going to be able to focus on what I have to focus on, which is going to delay instead of trying to be better. Uh, uh, no, not, I don't play sports anymore, but I, I do occasionally when I get invites. I tried one time the uh, PCA, I won one round and then I got so tired. <laughs> A leading man? Um, ooh, that's very challenging. I never thought of that. Um, wala ako kasi gusto ko kasi darn. Pero it's okay because I'm very happy with Jane. She was also a, she was also a, um, a girl trend before, and I've seen her growth. She's, I'm, I'm so proud of. Yes, I got this one before. So, baka Valentina. Pwede. Yung position nyo ba for different? I heard. I heard. Yeah, ang dami po talaga lang. Everyone was there sa Dolphy Theater. And I know and I can attest ako po yung unang puno na po na doon. Sa Dolphy Theater. I was like, gusto ka talaga. Pero next to Darn, America Bong Dream. Actually, anything, just mapadpad lang sa TV or have even a role is a dream for me. Close kayo ni Jane? Me, Jane, po. Um, we know each other. Hindi naman po close na every day kami nagsasama or nag-uusap. Pero, yeah, we, were, we know each other. We were supposed to work first um in San Lugo together. She was there for one taping day. But I guess she got pulled out kasi nga they found out that she was dark enough. So, it makes sense. I saw concentration mo in sa acting. Yes, and, and I'm very passionate about acting po. I love acting. I feel like it's one of my therapies that you could be somebody and portray it, right? Like, you learn a lot. Like, how it is, like, sa MMK, um, I had taping ng MMK po. Sobrang in the slums, in the area, sa yung mga tundo, ganyan. Tubing lang. Ako si Ines sa San Dugo na puro mayaman, sexy, and all of that. So, it's just, it's amazing for me. Your role, yung mm -hmm. previous role na parang ang tabi, dati pa. Yes. Okay. Yes, marami. Blood sister, ah, yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Do you think it made an impact as much as you did? I would like to believe po, kasi dito sa upcoming serie ko po sa Sandugo, kontrabida rin po kasi ang mayaya. It's different po kasi parang more sexy. Sexy po ako. And it's challenging for me kasi hindi po ako very ganun. Like hindi po ako liberated like it is. But it's very exciting for me and um, kapangpangan po kasi ako and si Kuya Alger kapangpangan din siya. So, 
Ayun po. It, it's very comfortable and parang, Oy, ayos lang. Okay lang yan. Tapos we call each other, bro, kumusta? <laughs> so it's... it's of late, yung kontabila na papansin like Daniela Mojoruan, played by Big Boss Kamana. Yeah. You think your portrayal makunta din doon sa ganun? Uh, it's an honor to be asked that po, but I think Dimples is such a great actor. So if I was able to be, to have an impact na ganun, then I must be doing my job po. So, um, sana po, mapaproclaim or mapatray ko po si Ines as, as good to have an impact like that. Hindi ko po 